Uh, my name is Larry DePasquale. And I'm Jill DePasquale. <laughs> I'm here representing Epicurean Culinary Group, which is a uh, part of a family of businesses uh, of uh, restaurants, which is Manja Beve Cafe and E5 Event Planning and then Epicurean Catering. Well, this is a 45-year journey for me and 37 years here in uh, Colorado as the uh, founder and CEO of Epicurean Culinary Group. And I, uh, my career started really, I think, uh, at the, uh, sitting on my grandmother's lap, uh, learning how to cook in an Italian tradition of Sunday family gatherings. Yeah, my grandparents believed in the tradition of a Sunday family get together. There was always a saying, you do not age at the dinner table. And the hospitality, uh, my hospitality roots started on those Sunday dinners. Uh, not only learning to cook, but learning the, how important it was for family gatherings uh, to get together and debate, and, you know, solve all the issues in the world. Uh, how I got into the hospitality yeah. business. Yeah. I married Larry DePasquale 37 years ago. <laughs> Every part of the business is, is the Epicurean family for me. Um, how blessed we've been through the years to have people that have been with us so long. Um, to see the, the evolution of their um, talents and their passions in the hospitality um, <clears throat> arena is just uh, so rewarding. Well, it's kind of what Jill just said. I mean, back to uh, uh, how has it impacted us. Uh, uh, hospitality is, is we, we have the privilege of not only serving some of the most amazing people, but we also have the privilege and responsibility of giving back in the community. And when I say responsibility, I think so much of this award and why this means so much to us is because of uh, uh, a mentor of uh, Noel and Tammy Cunningham. And, you know, Noel used to have a great saying is, you know, there's a lot of people a paycheck or two away from being homeless. And whatever you're doing, Larry and Jill, do more, figure out how to do more. And I think that, um, uh, again, as Jill said, as we get the absolute privilege of working with hospitality professionals, which are people that are compassionate, caring, and always looking for growth opportunities. And one of those is our division of Epicurean Cares, where we can go out and, and see the underserved and the people of need and try to make a difference in their life. And well, as we're doing that through food and smiles and respect and hospitality, we're also building a family for our, for our own self, of our own team, of volunteers and giving back. And I think that's the biggest gift that hospitality gives us is that we, we get to see both sides and we get to make differences in people's lives. If it's a special occasion, a wedding, or if it's a day of feeding the needy and, and knowing that that day they've got a great uh, uh, hearty protein laden meal. Well, and I think too that Larry's legacy has been that this was always uh, a passionate thing for us, for him. And it's important to have um, leadership by example. And I think that through all these years, our, our Epicurean family could see, um, not just say, this is what we want you to do, or they read it in the handbook, that, but we go out and do it. The hands-on, to really make that difference. Um, in in our community and in our state, and um, I'm, I'm so proud of Larry for his leadership and his his passion to bring so many, um, even in the community through our weed waste program, and, and he's always he's kind of like Noel, always trying to get somebody else in the industry on the board. So I don't know if I haven't witnessed people running away from him. <laughs> Uh, but I, they might quickly when they see them. Uh, well, I'm, 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 pretty, I'm pretty fast myself. <laughs> yeah. Usually can catch up with them. Yeah. Now, I, it's more than companies, you know. It's, it's the whole entire team. And I found like when Jill and I are trying to do something uh, uh, or our partners are trying to do something, it's great. But when we can incorporate a, a village of, of uh, volunteers, uh, just like when we are doing a large event, it, it takes a whole team. And that's the one thing that 
we've learned over the years of entrepreneurship is that uh, we're, we're an industry of people and our people are what really make us great. You know, we have a saying is we're only as good as our last meal served. And that last meal means that everyone has to be present, as Jill said very well, and they have to be committed. And um, so I think that's the role that companies take in whatever industry they're in. And in giving back, it really takes a, a whole team. We have, a, we have an absolute angel in our company. His name is uh, Chef Bob Gittry, who has really head, headed up our, our giving. And that individual is all about 24 hours a day of bringing God's word and God's peace to individuals and gathering volunteers to see the vision of, of what we're accomplishing by, by uh, helping the needy. Uh, we feel so blessed that we have so many people like that in our, in, in our team, but also somebody like that who is a real leader and, and a real visionary. Well, through the years, we looked at, there's so much you can give, and where, where does that, um, where do you land? And I think for Larry and I, it was always looking at um, those individuals, those people in the community that are underserved, that are marginalized, um, that... Um, that we can hands-on really make a difference. 30-some uh, um, years with the Adoption Exchange with our foster kids has been um, a very big passion of ours. Um, of course, um, we don't waste. I'll let Larry tell you about that. Um, but feeding the homeless, feeding um, the seniors, our poor and marginalized seniors. I ran a... Um, clinics as a volunteer RN since 2012 for those individuals that um, can't quite make it to the end of the month with their food and with their health care. Uh, we are also uh, passionate about uh, the LGBTQ community and giving back to them and our company has been amazing with, with uh, supporting our passion for that. Uh, that group of people that really needs our support. You know, all of, there's so much about giving, uh, uh, of being consistent. And one of the things Jill's really taught me is um, for 20 some years, every Tuesday, she gets up and goes to a senior clinic and gives health care. And occasionally she brings a little bit of our uh, Italian soups. To, to the seniors, but it's so it's so important because people rely on you to be there. And so what I've learned through that is uh, like our serving the uh, you know the underserved by taking and repurposing foods from different events and eliminating waste, but also then going out and making these excellent meals for the people that are underserved is. You know, you can't do it once or twice, or you can. You make a real difference doing it once or twice. But what I think we've really prided ourselves on is the 25 years of serving the seniors or the last five, six years of being there every other Tuesday and saying, like somebody from VOA said to me, well, we thought this was going to be, you know, once or twice, and here we are on our sixth year. That's what I'm really proud of is that when you – take on a challenge of trying to make a difference and you make a difference, you know, you try to make a difference for a long period of time. Again, none of that can happen without an incredible team of dedicated people that see the vision and see what, what the community needs and try to make a difference. Um, a dream dinner guest. Well, you know, we both got the opportunity. This is more in my realm of years ago. We were, receiving a recognition from Julia Childs and um, we were able to uh, uh, like spend some real quality time and dine and laugh and have some wonderful conversations uh, with with somebody that is now and then quite a legend in our industry but you know sometimes I um, I sit back and just realize that you know both my parents and Jill's parents are still alive and how special 
It is, mm -hmm. uh, especially just we just had a wedding to have uh, get to share break bread with with our parents at this at this age and so on. So uh, that's been very special. This was a tough one for me. Um, um, I would have to say, I could say a lot of names, but I would have to say I would love to have dinner with my sister one more time. We're humbled. We're humbled to be, uh, to be honored uh, and uh, to follow some of the footsteps of individuals who have received this award before in our industry and outside our industry and all the work that we do. There, you know, there's a great uh, quote from Harry Truman is a, uh, you know, the people that can accomplish a lot are the ones that don't care about who gets the credit. I think there's so many individuals that have received this award, and I think Tammy and Noel have really set the tone for that is, you know, do great things and not worry about who gets the credit. And I think I would say that this um, award really meant a lot to us because of Noel and Tammy because of the hands-on, because they were, the, they were, and Tammy continues to be an example um, on how you can really make a difference. And so that's so warm in our hearts that we are receiving this award. Thank you.